Hello, Gemini. Thanks for checking out this video. This is going to be your general reading. I'm going to be pulling from these this huge oracle deck that I have merged. Well, how do I say this? I've merged two oracle decks together and it's cost this one big deck. Um, this is the energy oracle cards and the enchanted map oracle cards. And then I'll look at the tarot. Spirit, please bring forth messages for my Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It's going to be a general reading, so that means it might be love, it might be um, finances, career, etc. It's whatever Spirit wants to talk about. It will not resonate with every Gemini out there, so feel free to check out your other placements. Sometimes those can resonate more. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed, liked, or left me a comment. I've been reading all of your comments and I really appreciate it. I love hearing when a reading resonates or what your situations are all about. Messages for Gemini, please. Gemini. And I, I've been trying to keep these general, but they end up reading about love. So I think maybe spirit is just a romantic. Let's see what we have for Gemini. Thank you. Oh, that's too many. I'll take this one though, because I feel like I need to take it. Peaks of Joy. Interesting. So that's the card for, that's like the sun card for me. Happiness, joy, fulfillment. So something's going to make you very happy the last two, during these last two weeks. For those of you that don't know, I am also a Gemini. I am also a Gemini Venus. Whoa. Okay, we got the thinking woman. So this is somebody who could be thinking about a situation. It could be someone who's educated, um, wise, or it could be a teacher of some sort, someone that you know. OMG. Give me a second while I just collect myself, Gemini. <laughs> One more card, please, for my Geminis. Last two, oh, thank you. Cleaning house, love that energy. Okay, so some of you are focused right now, these last two weeks. Um, I think you've been thinking a lot about a situation. I have flying at the bottom of the deck, which is all about reaching new heights to gather a new perspective. That's really what that's about. So I feel like some of you um, have been focused on cutting out what no longer serves you, working on yourselves, thinking about your future, what makes you happy. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Spirit, messages for my Geminis, please. Messages for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? What messages do you have for my Gemini? What do they need to know? Oh my gosh. Well, there we are, the lovers. OMG. Eight of Swords. The Magician. Death. Three of Pentacles. What else for my Geminis? Okay, I feel like the thinking woman and the eight of swords have something. Oh my gosh. The thinking woman and the eight of swords. I feel like there's a connection here. Almost like you guys have been thinking too much about something, overthinking, feeling stuck in a situation. Could be related to work. What else for my Geminis? That judgment here. There's been an awakening of some sort, a judgment call you're making. Um, and like an epiphany. New clarity is what I'm getting here. I feel like the clarity has to do with you manifesting something. I also have death here, sign of Scorpio. This is all about a transformation. I feel like you guys are going through a change. And I think because this is under cleaning house, it's like whatever house you're cleaning, <laughs> You guys know what I mean. Whatever you're cleaning up or getting rid of, it's for the, wow, yeah, walking away. It's it's going to lead you toward to something better. Let me move my cards over so you guys can see. I feel like you guys have manifested this change. And it's going to make you very happy. I, I'm not getting the sense that this isn't something that you want um, let's clarify and see. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. What are you guys thinking about these last two weeks? What? This is again a mental 
mental entrapment so you're 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 overthinking something or thinking that you're stuck but you it's an illusion right what is Gemini thinking about thank you king of swords okay you're thinking about um information research thinking women here um again don't focus so much on women or the genders of the cards it's all about the energy but this is someone who's been thinking researching here tell me more about this king of swords thank you <laughs> well it's pretty clear what you're thinking about gemini you're thinking about finances stability commitment life partner you're thinking about marriage long-term commitment And this is, I feel like some of you are thinking that you're, you're never going to be in this Ten of Pentacles energy. Almost like you're focusing on, yeah, with the Five of Cups, you're focusing on what hasn't worked out for you. Knight of Swords right next to that. So there could be a message coming in. Tell me about the Magician. Tell me about the Magician, please. That's a magician here. This is about having all the tools at your disposal. Again, with the research and the thinking woman. This is about manifesting what you want. Thank you. This is what you want. Four of Wands. You're manifesting this love. You're manifesting this offer. It's all you've been thinking about. Others of you, someone has come to you with an offer for a long-term commitment and you haven't decided what to do. You're thinking about it. Tell me about death. Could be doing OMG. I'm just going to take them because I'm not going to fight with my cards today. <laughs> yeah. Ten of, um, I'm sorry, nine of swords. Wheel of fortune. And justice. So it could be a Libra you're dealing with. Um, it could be um, a legal situation of some sort. It could be the rebalancing of some things. The divine is stepping in to rebalance a situation that you've been anxious or stressed about. It's going to bring about a transformation with um, Wheel of Fortune is all about change. Nothing's ever the same when the wheel turns. Same with death. Ten of Wands, bottom of the deck. Definitely a completion of something here, if it wasn't already clear. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is all about working together, um, collaborating, building something. You could be thinking about building a future with someone, or um, maybe this is something that's going on at work. Why is the Three of Pentacles here for Gemini? Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands again. This is someone coming in hot. Um, this could also be a third party situation because Knight of Wands is very player energy. So somebody that could be seeing multiple people. Um, but I feel like the Knight of Wands, he's very impulsive. He is, I, I always use the phrase coming in hot because it's almost like he doesn't even look where he's going. But he's, he's, he's propelled by his passion, by his attraction. Tell me more about the Three of Pentacles. Hmm, thank you. There's the sun and the five of pentacles. Interesting. I feel like whatever energy you've been in, where you've been isolated and alone, Gemini, that's going to change with this knight of wands, three of pentacles energy. It's going to make you very happy. Remember how I mentioned the sun card with the peaks of joy? This is, this is something that's going to make you very happy. I'm getting also for some of you, this will be a surprise, a pleasant surprise. Some of you, this I have the Six of Swords on the deck. Some of you could be traveling to someone or vice versa. Um, some of you have been le have left a situation or someone else has left a situation to walk to their wish fulfillment because that's what the Eight of Cups is walking to, to find his last cup. Tell me about judgment. I got some major arcana going on. So this is like big changes, you guys. Thank you. Oh my God, I keep getting so many cards, but I'm going to take them. Okay, so... Five of Cups, Knight of Swords came out again. So this is a message coming in fast. A message that might be disappointing or hard to accept for some of you. Um, I feel like with the Five of Wands here as well, it's like there's going to be a little bit of drama, conflict, competition. 
based off of this message or this truth because I have judgment here it's clarifying judgment I feel like there's been an awakening of some sort with someone involved in this drama or in this conflict I feel like someone wants to leave this negative energy behind this this sadness behind this feeling of not getting anywhere that's what I'm getting very strongly bottom of the deck ace of Pentacles again with this offer have um, a lot of Pentacles on the board but also I have wands here a lot of wands I have cups as well but as far as signs go I have Scorpio Libra Leo maybe here Taurus Virgo Capricorn tell me about the eight of cups thank you five of swords someone could be walking away from fighting or um conflict or just like it's like you don't want to fight anymore or there's been some sort of loss here someone lost something i have four of pentacles someone could also be trying to um take advantage of a situation um because they're extra protective they're in protection mode and so they only want to focus on um, winning or they just they don't want to lose it could be either way I feel like with the eight of cups and the five of swords here if you look in the background of five of swords there's people walking away so I'm really getting the sense that some of you are just walking away from fighting conflict or something that no longer serves you or is unfair to you we have justice up here so you're looking for something that's fair and balanced in your favor for once right with Wheel of Fortune as well. Actually, let me just, it looks so pretty there. <laughs> and then I have the Four of Pentacles. So this could be somebody that's holding tightly to their finances. It could be that somebody that's just not wanting to let go, um, having a hard time letting go of something. Um, this could also be someone that's holding in their feelings, holding back. bottom of the deck I have the ten of wands so what I see here Gemini is that a lot of you have been focused on walking away from what no longer serves you cutting out anything that's in your way um, I feel like a lot of you have been thinking about what truly makes you happy you've been trying to manifest a connection a stable loving partnership and I feel like that's going to come in even though there's going to be some some hurdles to jump through right it's I don't see like this is going to be something easy um, but it's going to be worth it. That's what I'm seeing here. So I hope this resonated with some of you. Let me know down in the comments if it did, what your situation is. If it did not resonate with you, that's okay. It just wasn't your reading this time around. But check out your other placements. Sometimes those videos can resonate more. Thank you so much again for those of you who have liked, shared, and subscribed. And I'll see you guys in my next video.